Hey guys, it's me, B.O.B. Welcome and welcome back to another video. Today you will not find any type of Apex gameplay in the background. Today you can see a wonderful game named Gunfire Reborn, which is defined as a roguelike RPG FPS game and I am tend to using it as an aim trainer and as a compensation when uh, Apex gets a little bit annoying. But this is not the reason why we are here. Today I want to make a short or maybe a little bit longer recap of 2022 and in this recap it will not be about what happened in the world and uh, what happened uh, I don't know, in Apex Legends, but primarily about what happened in my life. Because I want to recap my year. And for those of you who are interested in what I did in 2022, this could be very interesting, I think. Because the list of the things I want to talk about is, yeah, quite long. But now, the first and most important thing in this video. Happy New Year, guys! Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for being with me. And thank you for still being interested in my little YouTube project. I hope you guys had a very nice New Year's evening and you got some nice dinner with family or friends. And I just hope that nobody of you guys is missing some fingers now. I wish you all a good health for 2023. So that's it about the, the wishes and the, the good regards. Now let's talk about 2022 and what happened. So, in January 2022, I finished my apprenticeship. I am now a fully trained IT specialist for system integration. At least this is what the, the full job name says. In detail, I am now working in an IT job. I'm system administrator at a large company and I'm making administration stuff, support stuff, helping out people, operating projects. And what I most love about it, I can train our new apprentices. I mean, it took me a couple of months to find a new and fitting job. I took my time on that. I was on job search for two months, but in the end it was all worth it. I took my time, I went to a lot of different companies, I talked to a lot of different people about what they are doing in their company and what they uh, want me to do. And then I decided, okay, I'm going to this company and now I have the big advantage of having a very friendly team and a work route of 10 minutes walking. So that's it so far about my, my job life. I'm working at this company since April now and I'm very happy even until the end of the year and I think I can stay there for a while now. Working is fun for me now. I never thought I wanna say this one day, but yeah, it is how it is. It, it's worth it, the way it was worth it. In February, I started my little YouTube project. The reason why I waited until February was, in the end of my apprenticeship, I wanted to focus on my exams, so I get it done very well and very good. So I didn't want to start a new hobby or something special, which will take me a lot of time, so I waited until I was done. And after that I was like, now I have some time. Also I was on job search for a while, as I said before. So I had some time to get myself new skills, learn something new, get into editing more, get into video editing, into picture editing and all that stuff. And I'm still learning new things on that. And this is so much fun for me. And maybe in the future, maybe one day, I don't know, I can do this for a living. I mean, having dreams is nothing negative, you know. <laughs> And it is very helpful to stay fresh in the head if you like keep on educating yourself. So I really have this need to never stand still, to always learn something new. And this is what I'm doing in Apex as well. And I still had a lot of progress in 2022 in Apex Legends. And Apex is one of the reasons why most of you guys are here since this is the core content I'm using or I'm producing on my YouTube channel. So. What did I achieve in 2022 in Apex? I hit Masters for the first time. I think this is one of my biggest achievements. For a person having a 9 to 5 job, having a relationship, having an own flat, having a lot of family and friends that also want to spend time with you and then playing a game competitively and still being able to reach one of the highest ranks in this game. 
This is a huge achievement for me. Also, I hit my 4000 hours of playtime in Apex. I mean, I'm playing computer games for over 10 years now and there was never a game I played for over 4000 hours in total. As you can see in this table, I'm playing on different accounts from time to time in Apex. I'm using these different accounts to help out people getting into Apex and I'm not using this to steamroll bronze lobbies, just to say this in forehand. And on all accounts together, I'm at over 4000 hours of playtime now. I'm also keeping up with my personal favorite challenge of all time, playing every legend to 500 kills and then learning how to count them the easiest way. Since Apex Legend has so many different legends with so many different abilities and ways to combine team compositions and to counter other team compositions and to counter play meta and to play with meta, it is just way more fun to play other legends from time to time. And this is why I set up this little challenge for myself. And since Apex Legends has no good leaderboard or in-game statistics or however you want to call it to get an overview on how many kills you have on which legend, I just created my own statistics. No, those statistics have no autofill. I have to fill them out by hand. Also, one of my biggest Apex or gaming achievements of 2022, the same one like in 2021, I'm now three years into playing together with Shivex, my all-time best mate, soulmate, however you want to call it in Apex Legends. I can play with this guy for three hours without talking any word and we are running on a six kill streak after that. It is so awesome to play with him, to play with you, Finn, if you heard this. Um, I can't describe it in words. This is like when you, when you have the perfect counterpart for you or the, the perfect addition for yourself. I'm so much in love with playing this game with you or playing other games with you because we have the same mindset, the same pacing, the same whatever you want to call it. I am really, 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 really happy about that. Still after three years we're playing together, we spend time together, we try to hit new highs. Yeah, I also hit Master together with, with Shivex. So, yeah. Thank you so much for sticking with me the whole time and I hope we we still play computer games in 10 years, you know? So now that we are talking about achievements and I showed you a couple of my statistics from Apex, if you want to know more about Apex statistics, just let me know in the comments. I can make you a whole video about my Apex stats, my Apex statistics, my whatever you are interested in, there's no problem. Just, just tell me what you want to know and then you get a nice and detailed video from me. But I also reached other achievements this year. For example, um, for one and a half years, two years around, I took dancing lessons with my girlfriend and we reached a new high. We reached bronze level together. For explanation, you start with a basic course, then you go into an advanced course and then you go into bronze, then you have silver, then you have gold and then you have like the star level. And since I'm just doing this for two years now, taking dancing classes, reaching bronze level after just two years is very good as far as I realized. Right now we're having a break, but I think in the near future we will keep on going and trying to maybe hit silver or gold level. We will see, I don't know, we're just waiting for the next dancing course to start in the next year. So what else happened? Um, I went on vacation this year to the Greek island named Corfu. I just hope it's pronounced Corfu in English as well. Me and my girlfriend spent some very good quality time there. We had a lot of good food. We went onto the highest mountain of the island. We had a one day tour to Albania. We went into the sea every day for swimming and diving and we had a really really nice shopping trip in Corfu city and yeah it was it was very nice it was very very warm and the food was good and the people are very friendly over there and right when we came back from vacation we both got ill and we had some corona yeah we got some covid for like almost three weeks yeah, this was also a part of my year. 
it was not an exciting part. Also, over the whole year we had a lot of board game evenings, we played a lot of different games, we played new games and our D&D campaign came to an end. We've been playing this campaign for three years now, me, my girlfriend, two friends and our game master. And after full three years of gaming, while COVID we played online, um, the campaign found an end, it was a very epic end. We already reached level 20 with our characters, I played a ranger and it was a lot of fun playing a such long D&D campaign. And we are looking forward to start a new one in the next year with a couple of new players. And I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. One of the most remarkable things that happened in 2022 for me was in August. In August we celebrated the 10 year anniversary of the Spry Clan. This is the community I'm playing for. And I founded this community 10 years ago with two of my best friends. And since then I'm protecting it and I'm caring for it like for my own child. In the beginning the community was named Super Ray. We first got the clan tag Spry and later decided how we want to name the community. And now it's just Spry Clan since the, the name is not that fitting anymore in my opinion. We also got a new logo for the community this year and we got some badges for the anniversary. At the anniversary meeting we invited all the long term members and the short term members and we went out to play some paintball all together since we are a shooter community for over 10 years. We started back in the days of Battlefield 3, then we played Battlefield 4, we played Counter Strike, we played Overwatch, we played PUBG, we are playing Apex right now, we are still playing CSGO from now to then. Uh, yeah, shooter games, shooter games, shooter games, yeah, so paintball was fitting. And for me it was so epic having all those people sitting at one table and you realize that like 10 years ago you had like a random idea with some friends and then it brings together people from all across Germany to like sit together on a table, meet each other. You have a very 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 good time and it was so much fun and it's so nice to like meet all those people you're playing with for like multiple years in person. Yeah, it was just, it was just awesome. So after this huge milestone in my life and in the existence of this community, um, later I went on vacation once again. I went to Hamburg for five days and I went to the Lion King musical and I had the first time hot pot in my life and this was also like a really really special five day vacation I got with my girlfriend. We experienced a lot of new things and also Hamburg is a very nice city and there was a lot of good food again. So yeah, it was a really really nice five day trip. And shortly after our trip to Hamburg, me and my girlfriend had our ninth anniversary this year. So yeah, being nine years together with the same wonderful beautiful lady is also a big achievement in my life. And then in October, something very remarkable took place. We got a cat, but we not just got some cat, we got a cat from the animal shelter. And this cat is already a little bit older. This cat is already 12 years old. The cat is named Amy. And yeah, Amy really loves bags, as you can see. And the special thing about her was that she was not that easy to give to families because she does not like other cats and she likes it a little bit quieter so families with children are also not that good and it was also a flat cat not an outside cat so yeah but this was perfectly fitting for us because we are quiet the most of the time we really love to cuddle a cat so she gets a lot of love and a lot of good food from us she does not have to get out and she's alone in our flat. So since uh, October we have a wonderful new maid in our flat. This is Amy, our new cat. And now we're coming to the end of the year. For example, Christmas was also very special for me this year because this was the first year 
Christmas where we didn't gifted any types of presents. So the whole family said no this year, no presents, nobody has to think about them, nobody has to buy anything, we all save a lot of money, we just meet up, have a nice evening, get good food, be happy about it and then like drink one, you know. And yeah, in the end everyone was happy about it because nobody got stressed out in the beginning about getting presents or about how to pack them in or who wants what for Christmas and so on and so on. You, you, you know the Christmas struggle and we didn't have that and this was so much more chill this year. I think we're gonna do this next year again. And now about the most recent thing in my life. Yesterday was New Year's Eve. We had a theme party at our home. We had the topic Wild Wild West. So everybody came in a Wild West cosplay as a cowboy or something like this. And then we had a poker evening and we had a lot of good food and we had homemade pulled pork. And yeah, this is how I went into 2023. So that's it about my 2022. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was a little bit interesting for you hearing from my life. If you have any questions, if you are interested in something about this, just tell me. I would really love to like remove the question marks from your brain and create a wonderful new video for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, you can leave me a like, this will mean a lot to me. And if you're new around here and interested in shooter gameplay, especially Apex Legends, then you should consider subscribing to my channel because there will be a lot in 2023 because we are just getting started right now. That's it for now. I wish you guys all the best. B.O.B. Over and out.